If you play FIFA or what is now called as FC, you'd know that the Origin app is no longer used, but the EA app can be a pain to handle. My name is Yadullah, you're watching Gander or Technology and in this video we're talking about how you can fix the Origin not installed error in FIFA or FC. So the first thing that you have to do is check your task manager. You can do that by pressing Windows key plus X to open up this menu. And in here, you will find task manager. So click on it to fire it up. And now under the app section, what I want you to do is scroll down until you find all instances of the EA app running in the background. You have to make sure that all of these are closed. Generally speaking, uh, closing the one with the logo will close all of the rest. So just right click it and then click on end task. And that should get rid of pretty much everything. Then you can also close the EA background service. So the goal here is to close everything that's related to EA or FC in any way, shape or form. Once you're done with this, you can close this and launch your game as usual and that should get the problem solved. The next solution is to enable background services in the EA app. So to do this, we first launch the EA app. We'll give it a second to load up since we just closed it. Once the app is open, I need you to head over to your profile icon. Click the button and then click on settings. In here, head over to the application section and if you scroll a little, you will see uh, that there is a slider to enable background services. Now this is important that this is enabled, otherwise FIFA or FC, whatever you're playing, can have some trouble detecting whether the EA app is installed in your system or not. It doesn't consume a lot of resources in the background either, so I would just recommend leaving this uh, enabled and it running if you are concerned about background usage you can disable the ea auto app automatically start up enable feature because uh, then it won't inflate your boot times and then you can always manually launch the app so uh, try enabling this slider if it's disabled for whatever reason and launching the game again the next step is to launch the game with the ea app open now this only applies to people who are uh, this mostly applies to people who are using something like Steam to play uh, EA Play games, Steam or Xbox Game Pass, whatever you use. So if I open up the EA app right here, as you can see, I have FC24 in my installed games, but I'm not going to launch it from here. I am instead going to launch this from my Steam library, which is right here, or I can just open up Steam. Let me bring this in. In any case, now that I have the EA app open and running, I'll just minimize it. Notice that I have minimized it to the system tray. I haven't sent it to, uh, I've minimized it to the taskbar. I haven't sent it to the system tray yet. And then you can go ahead and launch your game from Steam or Xbox, and it should be able to detect the EA app. The next step is to uninstall the EA app and then launch the game. Since uh, none of EA's games use Origin anymore, they will automatically attempt to download the EA app every time you launch the game without the app on your system or every time you install the game, the EA app is installed automatically. The way we can remove the EA app is also pretty simple. Just press Windows key plus X for the quick access menu and then click on installed apps. We'll give this list a second to load and now you can scroll down to find the EA app in here, which is installed right here. So go all the way to the left, all the way to the right. Click these three dots and then click on uninstall. Windows will ask you if you want to uninstall it. We know what we're doing, so go ahead and click on uninstall. And now when you go back and launch your game again, uh, it should attempt to download the EA app once more, get everything set up and running for you, and you should be able to get by the error. The next step is to manually reinstall the EA app. Now I've just shown you how you can uninstall the EA app. Just press Windows key plus X and head over to installed apps. We'll give this a second to load just so everything shows up. Scroll down until you see the EA app, click the three buttons, click uninstall and then click uninstall again. Once you're done with this, you can head over to EA's official website and re-download the app to see if that fixes your problem. Now if you haven't been able to fix the problem so far into the video, chances are you're going to need to download Origin. The problem with that is EA doesn't offer Origin anymore, so if you search for download origin on google 
you will get download the EA app or origin for Mac OS, which well, we're not going to be using. So uh, your best bet is to use something like Softonic or some other uh, third party downloads, which is not very good because these downloads can't be trusted and you can't get origin from the official source anymore. So I don't recommend that you do this, but if you can't get the EA app to detect the game or the game to detect the EA app, despite your app and the game being up to date and everything being in order, this is the way forward because you would install origin and then launch the game in which case it will see that origin is installed and will ask you to upgrade to the ea app so you could take that route uh, you're gonna have to find your download of origin on your own um, i cannot uh, give you any download links for third party websites but as you can see there are plenty of them available you can go to up to down you can go to soft tonic um, try to not use websites like this uh, just not very confidence inspiring and that should get it done the final step if you've tried everything on this list and haven't been able to fix the issue is to try a clean reboot now to do this what we have to do is open up the search menu and we're going to search for ms config or the system configuration tool go ahead and click on it now this will show you some options here uh, we are going to the startup tab or actually the services tab sorry uh, we're going to check the hide all microsoft services box because we don't want to close any windows services and then just click on disable all this disables everything and as you can see there are uh, there's the ea anti-cheat service the ea background service so when you reboot your computer no third party service starts as you can see there are a bunch of them here once you're done with this go to startup and then click on open task manager in the task manager we are going to go to the app history no the startup apps tab and just make sure that every app here is disabled as you can see i've got a bunch of services running in the background and most of them are enabled here uh, we're going to have to manually disable all of them uh, it's very simple click on the app right click and then click disable or you can use the disable app button right here do this one at a time and make sure all of these are disabled once you're done then you can go back ahead and reboot your computer and that should fix the problem because when the computer restarts and you relaunch the game it starts every process up from scratch which removes the probability that it will run into an error if you like this video consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you if you'd like to know more about tech visit our website candid.technology follow us on social media follow me on instagram or twitter and we'll see you in the next video